Hello viewers. Today, let's make some wormwood makgeolli. Delicious Korean rice wine flavored with the herb wormwood. Now, wormwood is used to flavor absinthe, uh, vermouth, beer, and makgeolli. If you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe. There's a new makgeolli video every week. So uh, to start off, I am going to make rice flour porridge juke with 200 grams of rice flour and 800 milliliters of water. This is what I usually do for my two-stage makgeolli recipe. As the juke is cooling down, I mix up the naruk and water and yeast. Stir that well. Now the juke is cool, I put it in the fermentation jar and then I'll mix in the naruk yeast. Stir that well. Okay, keep the lid loose and ferment that in a dark place. This is the starter for my two-stage makgeolli recipe. Um, and I stir this starter three times a day for the first two days. So it should be bubbling a little bit. And all right, so um, then after two days, I'm going to make hard steamed sweet rice. Chop all go to bop. Have to wash that rice thoroughly. Soak it and drain it. Now here's the wormwood. All right, it looks just like uh, some mulch. Now wormwood is very, very bitter. So I'm going to try to use just a small amount, five grams. Let's see what that tastes like. And to counteract the bitterness, I'm going to add some uh, sweet items like the star anise and even black peppercorns. It's go That's going to be relatively sweet compared with the uh, wormwood. So I'm going to add uh, 400 milliliters of water. We want to reduce it by half overall. Add water as needed as you're simmering it. Now my steamer uh, is uh, pretty much broken. The lid is broken. This one is uh, stained from black rice and even this one has loose slats. So I used that a long time. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Oh, here it is. Shiny new one. Steam 40 minutes. And after it's done, lay it out to cool. And after it's cooled to room temperature, add it to the starter. This is our second stage. And our warm wood soup is also at room temperature now. Because I'm worried about how bitter the warm wood is, I'm gonna strain it out. So I'm not gonna leave it in there. Make sure all the rice is separated and mixed well. Put it in dark place to ferment again. And every day, keep an eye on it. The rice should be breaking down and slowly falling to the bottom. So it looks like reasonable fermentation. I've seen better, but this uh, this looks pretty good. Day 13, I'm going to bottle it. Pour it through my strainer. I've boiled that strainer. And encourage it to, to uh, flow through 
at the end have to squeeze it and this is what's left over 316 grams put it in the bottles end up with almost two liters and now we get to taste it so this is normal texture and strength the flavor is grapefruit and spicy instead of a sweet milky aftertaste which is normal it has this clean bitter aftertaste which is actually quite pleasant if you like ipas it's pretty normal kind of bitterness range there um, nothing extreme so that that's quite tasty and it has a different uh, different effect i think it's worth uh, worth trying this especially if you want something besides the usual sweet and milky aftertaste so that was uh, that was fun and interesting. Some wormwood mockley. Uh, let me know if you try this yourself. Uh, appreciate any comments you might have. Thank you for watching.